So it's trying, to, it's trying to resolve the fact, how in the world could I put in two, let's say, molecules of this and end up with six molecules of this? And it says the only way I can do that is if I, c if I can actually ah, eat ethanol and eat glycerol. That's why these rates end up being negative. So it's a solution that doesn't make any real sense, right? So if you were to get this solution, you would probably conclude something's wrong with your experiment. The me your measured rates aren't right, or maybe your stoichiometry is wrong, or something like that. Okay? So, um, you can keep playing around, I'll hang out if you want to, but if you, if you feel like you've had enough, because um, I think that's, that's, oh, well, i show you how to do it. I'll post this, but obviously this is um, simple, <laughs> right? Form a matrix A, don't screw it up, right? Obviously your chance of screwing it up is high if you make a mistake. I check the rank just to make sure I'm able to solve these equations. Rank is six, which it should be to solve them. Then I proceeded to so make a vector B1 and then solve with that vector B1 to get a vector V1. Same thing, B2, V2, so on and so forth. Similar, I'm sure, what you did. So I'll address your question in a second. But if you'd like um, to grab your homework fours, you, like I said, you don't have to leave. It's up to you. But if you'd like to grab these, um, you can do it whenever you like. Sure, yeah. I don't understand. I'm trying to understand where B5 doesn't go right in my head. Because I'm looking at B5 and it's ATP. So I go here and it's negative 2 on the V1, positive 2, and then negative 1. Mm -hmm. Is that you or is that me? Or am I? Okay. So, um, so the. The equation you got a Mac. You have to move it around for me. But so the um, so the so we're looking at this is the last equation actually the sixth equation because that's just the way I decided to order them. You can order them in any order you want, but I put this as the sixth okay. equation. So if you go down to the matrix, you'll see that those are the those are the coefficients for the six. So you can put them in any order you want. You just have because that solution doesn't depend on what order. Yeah, so in other words, I could switch these rows around because they're all the same set of equations, right? It doesn't matter. And these so th are the same zeros, technically, I guess. Well, if you switch the equations, you have to switch these as well. So, for example, yeah. if I made this fourth equation the second equation, then I'd have to move that V0 up there so that is the same equation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just chose to write them in this order because that's the order I presented them, but okay. the order won't matter. But if you switch rows in A, you have to switch rows in B as well. Okay. So the all equations right. stay the same. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's like the next line. Do you have any, any idea? Um, <laughs> let me ask this one. Okay. So what's up? <laughs> Part of the application requires me to go to every one of my professors and get a progress card. Okay, so what are you, what are you trying to do? Um, get a progress current grade of my um, Okay, and so what are, you, what are you trying to transfer to and from? I don't understand. So uh, transfer to another university. Oh, you're trying to transfer from UMass to another university. Okay. Um, so, and I'm just supposed to say you're in good standing or something like that? What am I supposed um, to do? It's just a midterm report. It requires me to um, go to every one of my professors and get comments.